Hello everyone, I'm John. Welcome to Titan Trading, where we are serious about investing and trading penny stocks and OTC market stocks responsibly. In this video, we're going to examine the various tiers on the OTC market for company stocks. Because the OTC stocks don't get the same level of regulatory scrutiny as exchange traded stocks, the OTC market grades their companies and they assign them a status, primarily based on their transparency. That is to say how much information the company is disclosing about themselves through filings in a timely manner. So it is important to understand how the OTC market works, what the different tiers are, and what the classifications actually mean. So how many tiers are there on the OTC market? Well, there are exactly three distinct tiers. They are called the pink, the OTC QB, and the OTC QX. So now, what are the differences between the three tiers? The bottom tier of the OTC market is called the pinks, and it is the least regulated of all the OTC markets. Pink market stocks do not even have to audit their financials, though they must report in a timely manner. Now the pink sheets are your penny stocks, sub penny stocks, and they include a lot of shell companies and companies that are in financial distress or bankrupt. And because the companies are not audited, we have to take the company's word for their figures and information. So it is highly well advised to be cautious of scams when trading stocks on the pink market. However, in saying that, there are thousands of legitimate sound companies on the pink market. The OTC Pink has two other categories as well, and simply put, they are Pink Current and Pink Limited. Pink Current means that the company is filing their financials in a timely manner, where Pink Limited is exactly the opposite. They are not filing their financials in a timely manner. And if a company falls behind on filing their financials too far, they are removed from the open market and put onto the expert market. Now this is not being delisted. It is for all practical purposes, a timeout for the company. Here, the stock can neither be sold nor bought and your investment is in limbo if you are invested in that company. Once the company has caught up with their filings and disclosures, they will be put back on the open market for trade as usual. The next tier up is the OTC QB. Now, this is a step up from the pink market in terms of what is required by the companies. OTC QB companies have to audit their annual records and they must have a minimum share price of at least one cent. And on top of that, they've got to have a float that's at least 10% of the outstanding shares. Now, I told you this was called the venture market. That is because this is where pink sheet companies like to venture out of the pink board. They uplist to the QB so that they can put their best foot forward and show investors that they are a serious company to be considered. They become more transparent, therefore more trustworthy. And the last and top tier is the OTCQX. The OTCQX is also known as the best market or the intelligent market, and they have the strictest regulatory reporting requirements. The OTCQX companies must report to the SEC, they have to disclose material news to the investors, and they have to meet revenue, stock price, and market cap minimums. The truth is, most stocks on the OTCQX could easily be on the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange if it wasn't for the strict criteria for uplisting. For example, foreign companies are not allowed on the major market. Many small community banks actually choose to be on the OTC market since the reporting standards are suspended for them if they have less than 1,200 shareholders, which is actually quite easy to maintain. It's cost effective and it provides the bank with investment exposure. Now the OTCQX, QB, and pink markets represent a very wide spectrum of securities. There are many dividend paying companies. And the industries, the OTC covers it all. Telecommunications, pharma, biotech, utilities, finance, media, and even cannabis, which you cannot get on the major exchanges. And remember folks, regardless of what tier the stock is on, all these stocks are purchased and sold the same as any stock normally would be. 
there is no difference. I hope this has been informative and helpful. Cheers, and thanks for watching, folks.